All right, I just want to quickly show off uh, Grepper's coding activity feature. So in your profile section, you'll see this uh, coding activity area. And in order for it to start working, you'll need to enable coding activity. Uh, and you should just be able to do that by clicking the button here. And once you do that, what it does is anytime you uh, run into a Grepper answer, so you view an answer or you upload an answer, it'll go into this area here and you'll be able to see, so like today I ran into these problems, uh, how to restart Docker. Uh, and some other problems. And so you'll be able to see um, by the day all the problems you ran into. And then you'll also be able to see this overview here. And what this does is it breaks down all the problems you ran into by the language. And so you can kind of see, uh, you know, I do a lot of JavaScript. So a lot of the days I'm running into JavaScript problems and also PHP. And so I'm, I'm running into a lot of PHP problems. Um, so this overview is just kind of a nice way to to get an idea of kind of the code languages you're using and also you can potentially share it with colleagues and um, you know potential employers so they can get a feel for what you're proficient in. Um, the way I like to use this is some days you know maybe I'll spend a weekend or something working on something I normally don't do maybe like an AI project for fun or something and so when I run into the when I'm doing a similar thing I can just quickly jump back see this day I was, looks like I was working on a lot of Python maybe I was doing something AI related um, I can just quickly jump back and see, you know, what kind of problems I was running into and stuff like that. Um, so you can uh, also set your coding activity on your profile uh, to be public or private. Um, so you can set the, the yearly activity, kind of this chart, to be public or private. And you can also set your daily activity to be public or private. Um, so that's the basics of how to use that feature.